Hello, chemistry students. Today we're going to be performing our evaluating commercial antacids experiment. So the purpose of this experiment is to determine the number of moles of hydrochloric acid neutralized by a commercial antacid tablet, to calculate the mass effectiveness and cost effectiveness of the tablet, and to compare the mass effectiveness and cost effectiveness of different brands of antacids. Let's get started. The first brand of antacid tablet that we're going to be using is from GoodSense. It states that there's 500 milligrams of calcium carbonate in each tablet. The entire container was $2.75, and there are 150 chewable tablets in each container. We're going to determine the mass of our GoodSense antacid tablet. The mass of our weigh boat is 3.1035 grams. The mass of our weigh boat plus the good sense and acid tablet is 4.2484 grams. The second brand of antacid that we will be using is from Tums. It states that there are 500 milligrams of calcium carbonate in each tablet. The total cost for the container was $3.99 and that there's 150 tablets in each container. We're going to determine the mass of our Tums antacid tablet. The mass of the weigh boat is 3.1115 grams. The mass of the weigh boat plus the Tums and acid tablet is 4.2950 grams. The third brand of antacid that we're going to be looking at is Top Care. So it states that there's 500 milligrams of calcium carbonate in each tablet. The total cost for the container was $4.19 and there's 150 tablets per container. We are now going to determine the mass of our top care antacid tablet. The mass of the weigh boat is 3.1399 grams. The mass of the weigh boat plus the top care and acid tablet is 4.2575 grams. The fourth brand of antacid that we'll be looking at is Equate. The total cost for the container was $5.98. It states there's 500 milligrams of calcium carbonate per tablet and that there's 150 tablets per container. We'll now determine the mass of our Equate antacid tablet. The mass of the weigh boat is 3.1214 grams. The mass of the weigh boat plus the equate and acid tablet is 4.4049 grams. I've gone ahead and transferred our four brands of antacid tablets to four different Erlenmeyer flasks. We have our Good Sense, our Tums, Top Care, and Equate. We're now going to transfer 25 milliliters of standardized hydrochloric acid to each of these Erlenmeyer flasks. We're using 0.5101 molar standardized hydrochloric acid. And we're going to use a 25 milliliter volumetric pipette to accurately transfer 25 milliliters of our hydrochloric acid 
to each of our Erlenmeyer flasks. We've now added 25 milliliters plus or minus 0 0.30 milliliters of our standardized hydrochloric acid solution to each of our Erlenmeyer flasks. We're next going to use a graduated cylinder to add approximately 20 milliliters of deionized water to each of our flasks. We will next warm our flasks and contents gently on a hot plate to dissolve the tablets and we'll continue to mix the solution by swirling periodically. We are warming our flask and contents gently on a hot plate to dissolve our tablets and we're going to continue to mix the solution with swirling periodically. So our solution has started boiling. We're going to allow the solution to boil for one or two minutes. We're heating the solution to expel the dissolved carbon dioxide. Any carbon dioxide present during the subsequent titration will interfere with the determination of the endpoint. So after allowing the solution to boil for one to two minutes and expelling all of the dissolved carbon dioxide, we're going to turn off our hot plate and remove our flask from the heat and allow our flask and contents to cool to room temperature. So we've allowed our solution in our Erlenmeyer flask to cool back down to room temperature. You should note that there will probably be some filler remaining from the antacid tablet in your Erlenmeyer flask. We're going to move on and add 10 drops of our bromophenol blue indicator. And we'll swirl to mix. At this point, the solution should be a yellow color. We're now ready to move forward and begin our titrations. I've gone ahead and prepared our burette by washing it with soap and water and then rinsing it with some of our previously standardized 0.09794 molar sodium hydroxide solution. I then dumped that wash in our waste beaker and refilled our burette with the same standardized sodium hydroxide solution. We are now ready to begin titration. This is our initial burette reading of our titration of the good sense antacid tablet. Titration number one. We'll now begin the titration of our good sense and acid tablet with the slow addition of sodium hydroxide to the flask while swirling. And we'll continue to add the sodium hydroxide until the solution turns a blue green color. We will have reached the end point of our titration when the solution can stay that blue green color for 15 seconds while swirling.
Okay, so we are now maintaining our bluish color for about 15 seconds. So we've reached the end point of our titration. This is our final burette reading of our titration of the good sense and acid tablet titration number one. We're next going to add 10 drops of our bromophenol blue indicator to our Erlenmeyer flask containing our Tums and acid tablet for our second titration. And again, after the addition of the bromophenol blue indicator, your solution should have a yellow color. This is the initial burette reading of our titration of the Tums antacid tablet or titration number two. And we'll begin titration number two of the Tums antacid tablet. Our solution is now maintaining a slight bluish color. And so we have reached the end point of our titration of the Tums and acid tablet or titration number two. This is the final burette reading for the titration of our Tums and acid tablet titration number two. We're next going to add 10 drops of our bromophenol blue indicator to our Erlenmeyer flask containing our top care antacid tablet or our number three antacid tablet. We'll swirl to mix and we should have a yellow colored solution. The initial burette reading for the titration of our top care antacid tablet or titration number three. We'll now begin titration of our top care antacid tablet. We now have a faint bluish color solution inside our Erlenmeyer flask, indicating that we have reached the end point of our titration of our top care antacid tablet. This is our final burette reading upon the completion of the titration of the top care antacid tablet or titration number three. We'll now add 10 drops of our bromophenol blue indicator to our Erlenmeyer flask containing our equate antacid tablet or antacid tablet number four. And we should have a yellow solution prior to titration. This is the initial burette reading for our titration of the equate antacid tablet or antacid tablet number four. We'll now begin 
titration of our equate and acid tablet. So our solution is now remaining a faint bluish color after 15 seconds of swirling, indicating that we have reached the end point of titration of our equate antacid tablet. This is the final burette reading upon completion of the titration of the equate antacid tablet or antacid tablet number four. Okay, students, you can now calculate the moles of hydrochloric acid neutralized by each antacid tablet, and you can calculate the mass effectiveness and the cost effectiveness of each antacid tablet. This concludes our evaluating commercial antacids experiment. Thank you for joining me for this laboratory.